Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't filmed a beauty video in super duper long, but that's because I was really, really sick for like a little bit over a month. I was literally on steroids, but I'll explain all of that in my upcoming vlog, which will be really soon. So stay tuned for that. But today I am filming a review and lip swatch video on the new Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipsticks. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. So I have three different shades. I picked up the shade Drop Dead Red, which is a deep burgundy. I picked up the shade Evil Twin, which is a really, really dark, almost black kind of brownish purple, I would say. On my skin, it definitely pays off a little bit like brownish purple, but I noticed on fairer skin, it's quite almost black. And then, of course, I picked up the shade Who's Zooming I'm going to start off by showing you guys lip swatches and just like swatches of each of the shades first and then we can go ahead and move on to the review. Canadian and let's start off with the pros. I love the packaging of this liquid lipstick. It is so gorgeous. It's probably one of my most favorite packagings on any liquid lipstick I own and let's be real I own a lot of liquid lipsticks. So I love even the box. I'm probably gonna keep the box because the box is super duper pretty on its own. The box is just normal at the back, quite matte and then it has this like metallic gold writing uh, for the Too Faced and the matte and the little thingy over here and I just think it's so so pretty. I absolutely love it and then of course the box packaging doesn't matter too much but I just thought I'd point that out and of course the liquid lipstick itself is also so gorgeous. It comes in a glass bottle and it is gold all around. The lid is gold and also the font on the bottle everything is in gold and I love it and if you actually touch the part where it says melted, it is kind of 3D. It pops out of the bottle. It's not necessarily just on it. The whole melted matte part. It's super duper nice. I don't know if you guys could p pick up on the fact that that part's a little bit more 3D like. It's so nice and of course it's glass. A con about the packaging is I heard that if you drop it really hard, it can break. So luckily I haven't yet knocked on wood, but I heard that which kind of makes me a little bit scared. But other than that, the packaging is gorgeous. But probably my favorite after the Stila liquid lipstick. Love the packaging. So of course, this is a liquid lipstick. So basically it goes from liquid to matte. It's supposed to be a lip stain which has a color payoff of a liquid lipstick, according to Sephora's site. And another thing is, it actually has, what was it, I read it, vitamin D? Vitamin, let me check, let me verify. Oh, it says it is infused with antioxidant rich avocado oil and vitamin E to moisturize. Saying that, I can understand why these liquid lipsticks feel super comfortable on the lips. When I wear these, they are not drying at all all at all throughout the entire day i find that they're not drying even as i'm talking like it feels like there's absolutely nothing on of course i did pick up the darker shades except for the brown i did want the brown as well but i had decided to pass on it just because i do have so many other browns but i'm not going to say the same for the lighter shades because i haven't tried it and i have heard that the lighter shades sometimes are a little bit more drying but that's kind of the case in almost all liquid lipsticks i find so yeah Let's just speak about the darker shades, which I have. The color payoff is insane for a liquid lipstick. It works just the way it should, super duper opaque. And when I apply it, it's not streaky at all, which I love because some liquid lipsticks are super duper streaky and you have to really pile it on and it moves and all that stuff. Just a little bit of this goes such a long way. I'm the type of person when I wear liquid lipstick, I will take the product and really take off the excess on the little... I don't know what that's called, like the top part of the bottle. I'll take off 
as much as I can and then go ahead and apply because it's just more easy for me to work with the that wig and like line the lips with the liquid lipstick and then apply it but yeah saying that like it's really easy because even if I take very little bit it goes a really really long long way which I love because that just means you're using less product I'd definitely say those are all the pros about these liquid lipsticks. Now, moving on to the cons of the liquid lipstick, there aren't too many. To be honest, this formula is something I really truly love. So the con, the only con that I have personally noticed in these liquid lipsticks is that they kind of sit in between the lines eventually. I don't have a problem with this shade at all in any way or form. But when I wear Evil Twin, which is this shade, it kind of sits in the lines. It may be because it's super dark and sometimes if I don't exfoliate my lips, it's a little bit drier. It could be because of that, but I'm, some of my friends also told me that when they wear the lighter shades, it kind of sits in their lines as well. I think it's a con for the liquid lipstick, but that's probably the only con I have. It sits in the lips and which means you would have to reapply but the positive is when you do reapply it, it's not one of those liquid lipsticks where you have to reapply the whole lip. Like if I eat, I eat my lipstick. No matter what liquid lipstick I, I wear, except for like lighter shades, this part will just come off because my lips kind of like hang like right here. You guys can probably tell when I talk like it's like super, it just doesn't stay. Like my lips are just naturally prone to kind of hanging so like it's more wet there so obviously the liquid lipstick it's not going to stay on that spot so basically whenever i eat this little part always always comes off always so i could just go ahead and reapply it and there's never a problem so that's another positive which i just totally put into the cons excuse that but yeah the only con is that it kind of sits in the lines and as for staying power too it lasts for Ever, which is another thing I love except for the part where I have to reapply as I already said so yes to sum it all up the pros are definitely the packaging it's super comfortable on the lips it's super easy to reapply not streaky at all it's super opaque and it has beautiful colors which is something I did not mentioned but all the shades are super duper nice it has a really good variety of shades for people who are more fair and people who are of a darker complexion of course there's not really nudes for a darker complexion but you could definitely wear the lighter ones with like a lip liner or something and it'll still look bomb on us as well and it's super comfortable on the lips as i probably already mentioned but the only con i had was the fact that it does kind of sit in the lines but that's literally all so overall i absolutely would recommend you guys to try these liquid lipsticks out i think they are definitely worth the price Definitely, although they are $25, they're a little bit more pricier than like Colourpop liquid lipsticks or something from the drugstore, but it makes sense. It is from Too Faced, so yeah, overall, I love these liquid lipsticks and I love this blue. Let me know if you guys like this blue. I love this blue. Like that, that is the end of this video and I will see you guys in my next video. If you guys like this video, please make sure to click that thumbs up button because it would mean so, so much to me and maybe even subscribe. Oh, and I will do the um, NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipsticks review and swatch sometime this week or next week. So stay tuned for that as well. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.